A cool new jig, a variation on the Polk Crosscut jig. Hi, I'm Ron Polk. Welcome to the Smart Digital Woodshop. I've got a, a crosscut jig that I use a lot, but I thought this would be cool opportunity to update it a bit and maybe make it a little quicker to set up. This is a sheet of plywood. So what I wanted to do was demonstrate that even on this smaller Polk, uh, Polk Compact Bench or Polk Total Station 2, which is about that size, that I could um, take care of 4x8 plywood cross-cutting, but also that this jig could work on my Polk Workbench too, as well, my wider one. The green things here, that's my sacrificial strips. I put them on all my benches. That's why my oldest workbench, the original Polk Workbench, doesn't have any cuts in it. Basically, because of the... Um, parf guide I was able to make these holes um, not only exactly 20 millimeters and 96 millimeters apart although I did do an extra row of holes here at 32 millimeters which I'm taking advantage of but they're perfectly square because of that jig something I haven't been able to do in the shop even with a lot of practice it's still getting it perfectly square but that jig is fantastic it's long enough to do a full 48 inch plus there's a little bit more a piece to slide through and the track would bump against these. Um, but you can see that with this bench dog out in space, it doesn't square it up. So basically what I've done is I would take this and I would stab it into one of these holes, probably this one, make sure it's perfectly square. And then I created a little bit of a rabbit here to put a clamp in. I, I went ahead and made it over two in case I had to adjusted for some reason but basically gets it below the surface it's just the clamp these clamping holes so with the bench dog in place i clamp it into place and then i can move this out uh, for wider stock but you know i rarely cross cut 48 inch i just did this to sort of cover all my bases um, what i'm thinking i might do is make this one I, and, and i'll be able to use it on any of my benches but um, then i we'll probably make a shorter one because most of the time wider cross cuts are going to be 18, maybe 24. So I could just not even use these clamping holes and just take uh, the cross cut or the bench dog and just stab it into one of these holes and uh, go at it. And of course, this will even work in the Polk Total Station. Of course, this would stick out over the miter saw section so I'd have to move it to use the miter saw but um, I could even make a shorter one probably in about in here um, that would work behind the miter saw so I could have cross cutting and miter sawing and then my table sawing you know but the nice thing about it is is that I'll be able to just put the take two pieces and there's nothing protruding on the top or the bottom which is what I like it's just flush uh, a little bit here, I mean, obviously, because it's a little thicker because of that. But no big, long pieces to butt up against this the way I have in my other one. So I think it'll store a little bit better. And again, I could make probably two different sizes of this and uh, quickly have a nice square cross cut and then take it down and just set it on the floor and go back to what I was doing. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. It may be a bomb. So I have spent the time digitally designing it and working it out. And I had some great ideas that just did not work. I love computers so that I can test things and test things. But um, I still need to go down to the wood shop and uh, test out, you know, the real world, make it work. So I think uh, tomorrow if I have time, I'll go over to the shop and set up and make this. Shouldn't take me too long. I'll try to videotape it so I can show you not only making it, but uh, using it for the first time. If you enjoy the Smart Digital Woodshop, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share the channel with others. And if you want a set of one of my plans, the Polk Workbench, the Total Station 2, or the Smart Woodshop, you can click on the link right here at the end of this video or in the description down below. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.